At the Seward House Museum in Auburn, New York, you'll see a bloody sheet with a very interesting link to the assassination of President Lincoln. As the Civil War raged, northern statesmen and abolitionists were steadfast in their cry that no people shall live as slaves and we shall do everything possible to receive those living as slaves and assist them to their freedom. These statements are found in the letters of William H. Seward, an attorney, the governor of New York State, a state senator, and most notable, Secretary of State to President Abraham Lincoln, and then later Andrew Jackson. It was Seward who spearheaded the deal to purchase Alaska. His Auburn, New York residence, built in 1816, is now the Seward House Museum filled with family belongings of three generations. That's mainly because they never threw anything away. It's between you and me, though. Statesman Seward and his wife Frances used their basement kitchen as an important hub in moving slaves to the north for their freedom. Two weeks before the end of the Civil War, Secretary Seward was gravely injured in a carriage accident in Washington, D.C. As the Civil War is coming to a close, Seward, recovering from his injury, is at his Washington home. On the night of the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, there was also an attempt on Secretary Seward's life. A man named Lewis Powell comes to the Seward home in Washington, makes entry to the home, and actually attacks several members of the Seward family. Uh, his son Fred, his son Gus are attacked, as well as, as an army nurse that was with Secretary Seward. Secretary Seward was cut about the face and neck, but he did not die of his injuries. Lewis Powell was able to flee and was later arrested two days later at the home of Mary Surratt. Seward's young daughter Fanny witnessed this attack on her father and it is from her diary entries that we have an eyewitness account of what actually happened that night. President Lincoln did not survive. Secretary Seward did. And the bloody sheet that was on his bed reminds museum visitors of the price that was paid for equality to all.